Hey everyone and welcome to call number seven of the new consultants training webinar for the Southern Romantics team. This evening we have the lovely Casey with us and I know that we've got, um, we might have some other girls coming in. So we are going to talk about team building. Yay! All right, so we have a couple handouts that I'll make sure you guys have access to after this. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and start talking about what it means to build a team within Pure Romance and why it's awesome, but also why it's completely optional. So um, we say with Pure Romance, there's three forms of income, the IOU method. So immediate is at the parties, ongoing is O, and that is uh, like reorders, refills, doing your customer follow-up calls. And then you is the ultimate. And that's when you make money while you sleep because your team is out there doing parties and um, you get paid a sweet commission check off of them every single month. Um, so that's a great way, especially if you feel that you might be getting burnt out within your business um, and you feel like you can't keep up with the demand for parties that you're getting. Building a team can really help alleviate some of that stress just to make sure that you're passing some parties off to girls on your team, they're making money, they're changing their lives, but then you're getting a sweet little bonus check for all the hard work that they do. Um, and an easy way for you as a new consultant to start to figure out how to build your team is by planting seeds. We always talk about planting seeds at our parties and doing um, recruiting commercials or team building commercials, um, but just recognizing that you're human at your parties and sometimes you mess up and sometimes you stumble over words, which I am a pro at. And just reminding people that, you know, anyone could do this job. Other seeds that you can plant at your party is, oh my gosh, can you believe I'm getting paid to do this right now? I can't believe it. This is so much fun. Don't I have the best job ever? Ah. So finding cute little ways to kind of drop hints um, within your party presentation about how much fun your job is and how it's not really work because you don't have to slave away for hours at a time. It's, you know, quick three hours in and out, money in your pocket, good time. Legally, yeah, you get to keep your clothes on. Um, another way to plant seeds at your party is to share your personal story. So that's something that we've all been working on as new consultants is um, your I story. So sharing that, making you a little bit more personable, making sure people have that great first impression of you and they feel that they can relate to you and that you're not, you know, up on some kind of crazy, unachievable pedestal that you're just like they are and they can totally get to where you are. Um, like I said, recruiting commercials are great to play at your parties or team building commercials to kind of get people thinking about some of the questions they might have about becoming a consultant. And then your... Customer connection cards are solid gold. So when you take these back from your party, being able to write notes on them, um, gauging people's interest, seeing what they're circling on the back when we're asking questions of what do they think about this? Can they see themselves doing what we do? Those are great ways to stay in contact with your potential recruit leads. Um, and use those as conversation starters. So when you're in the shopping room or the ordering room, you should always look to be generating one to two leads per party. Some people are going to be like, oh my gosh, yes, I would love to do this. Some you might just need to send some information home with and then follow up after they've had a chance to think about it. But as much as you can, trying to get those people who are really excited to either follow up with coffee or heck, if they're on board, get them to sign up via a PCR EF, PRC EF, consultant enrollment form, words, um, right there at the party. I tried that after I heard of some other consultants having success with that. And I've signed about four girls that way, which is pretty cool. So if they're really gung ho, don't make them wait. Tap into that energy. I know, right? Casey was one of them. Um, right? So tap into that energy, have them fill it out right there at the party. Uh, you're going to collect their social and their driver's license number and their credit card information. And then you can go home and put them right in your system. And the kit's going to ship directly to them. It's everything they would have done online without the headache of trying to do it all on your phone. Um, and it just makes it super easy for the consultant. So when you do that, make sure that you're giving out um, an opportunity brochure. I have these things floating around my office. <laughs> like they're hidden everywhere. But I want people to check this out because this is great 
information. It's not too scary. It's not too much information too soon. We save those for these webinars after we get you signed up. <laughs> and then we're like, boom, here's some information. Um, but give them that and then say, this information is designed to formulate some questions. Can I call you in another day or two? And then I always follow up with an email with some more frequently asked questions and the current kit sale that's going on. Um, let them know that the, when you guys talk on the phone, it's going to be quick. It's not going to be, you know, hours. It's going to be maybe 10 minutes at most just to kind of answer any questions and just to touch base with them and go ahead and set a time for the call when you're in the ordering room. So you're already going to have your calendar with you. So just say, you know, and even if you get into the habit where, you know, you're going to make those follow up calls on Monday, just be like, can I call you on Monday night? Um, sometime between six and seven. And most people will be like, yeah, or they'll let you know if that doesn't work, but you'll have that time in your calendar and you just need to make a note of who you're going to call during that uh, time. Um, I put everything in my calendar. If it's not in my calendar, it doesn't happen. So I make sure while I'm at the party, I'm on the phone and I put call Casey 630 on Monday. And that way I know, and I only put it for 15 minutes because I love you, Casey, but as a new consultant or as a potential new consultant, I don't want to scare you and like give a whole entire hour to you because I'll take that whole hour. <laughs> so I'm going to do it quick and I'm going to listen. I'm going to listen to the questions that my consultant or my potential new recruit has. Um, and I'm going to definitely just answer those. I'm not going to overwhelm her with a ton of information. I'm just going to answer the questions that she has and see um, when she's ready to start making money. Oh, and like I said, after the party, I always follow up with emailing the current kit sale and the frequently asked questions. And you guys will get the document of frequently asked questions that you can put your own name on and send out to your girls. Um, some people with their opportunity packets, they make them a little bit more fancier. I'm not fancy, but if you want to go fancy, go fancy. So it's be something like the opportunity brochure that I just showed you a business card. You can do a kit comparison sheet that has all three of the kits that we offer, um, and their value. And you could do the PRCEF and send it home with them and maybe even a current catalog. But if they're all at your party, they're going to get so much of that anyway. Um, an email is a great way just to kind of follow up with them where you're not giving away a bunch of stuff that you printed out. So if you're in the habit of saving money like I am, I love email. Um, I created a little interview sheet to help kind of guide me through what I wanted to talk to my potential new recruits about during the first time that we chat. So I'm going to be taking a lot of notes and this is really just kind of getting to know her on a more personal level. I don't want to try to sell her anything. Um, I just want to know what her hopes and dreams and goals are. So let me see if I can share that screen with y'all real quick. Okay. So this is just on a word document and I just have these printed out. Um, I have, a uh, this notebook, which I'll show you more when I'm not on a tiny corner, um, this notebook keeps my life for recruits in it. And so I've got a little section with these. So if I'm on the phone with a potential new recruit or if I'm at coffee, I'm just taking notes on this. So ways to get in contact with her. And I want to get her spouse's name and her children's names and ages just because I, I want to get to know her, right? So if her husband's got objections, or she's worried about missing kids' soccer practice, I want to be able to kind of follow up with that and not be like, oh, did you really say that you have kids? So that's kind of good for me. So, um, and honestly, for me, it helps me be a little bit more warm and fluffy because I'm not really warm and fluffy. So the more I can practice being warm and fluffy, it's, a, it's better for me <laughs> in the long run um, because I am very business-minded and I'm kind of blunt. And sometimes I, I understand that can come across as rude and it's never my intention. So I definitely want to get to know people personally so they don't think I'm just, you know, in it for the deal. So when I get a chance, I want to make sure I want to, I want to know what's interested her in pure romance. If it's the line of products, if it's um, the financial freedom, if it's the flexibility of schedule, I want to know what kind of drew her to this. Um, and then I want to know why, if it is the money, then why does she need the money? Does she want to pay down debt? Does she want to save up for a vacation? Does she need, um, to go get treated to spa day three times a week? I mean, people get into this for the craziest reasons. And I want to make sure that when I'm helping her set her dreams and her goals, that they're actually in a line with what she actually wants out of this business. So if I'm trying to motivate her to go out and make more money, 
and she's not motivated by money, she just wants girl time, then I gotta make sure I shift, I shift my focus on that to keep her motivated. This question is gold. Is there anything standing in your way from giving pure romance a try? I try to ask this at parties if I have a really strong recruit lead. And I say, what's stopping you from signing up today? Like $150 with the kid sale that we've got going on now, what's stopping you from that? Getting to know their objection is really gonna help you be able to sway the conversation in your favor, but also kind of help you understand the underlying reason for that objection. Can like consistently, we're gonna hear the same few objections. People will think it's they're unique individuals, but it's the same kind of objections. It's money, it's time, it's um, what will people think. Money, well, you know, we can really help with that. If they can't afford to get started, then they need this business because we can help them afford everything else that they can't afford. If it's time, if it's a priority, they'll make time for it, right? Just like coming to the party, they made time for it. If they really are motivated, um, then they'll make time for it. And if they're worried about what other people think, unfortunately, there's not a lot you can do about that. You can just keep showing them how successful you are. And sometimes you win those people over in the long run. But that's not something I, if they're worried about what everybody else thinks, then I don't really try to focus my time and energy on those recruit leads because um, it's just a little bit more energy than what I'm going to get out of it right away. I'm just going to stay consistent with them. And then lastly, when do you want to start getting paid? So these are the four things that I kind of talk about in that first 10 minute conversation that I've got with them. When do they want to start getting paid if they're motivated by money and if they need the money right now, they'll let you know. And if they're like, mm, you know, I can wait a couple months. I'm not really in a rush. That's totally fine. Then again, that tells me, Megan, back off, touch base with them in February, touch base with them when their taxes come back. Um, if they're not diehard motivated, I got to do it right now then they're not gonna sign up right there at the party. And you'll be able to tell when they're ready because they'll stay in contact with you, hopefully. Boom, all right, <clears throat> excuse me. So that's what I do for um, the first phone call. This effective communication guide that I'm about to share with you has been really helpful. Um, hold on, let me find it. You guys know I have like 17,000 tabs open all at once. Uh, Maybe. Let me figure out how to do this. I can figure this out. I'm a smart cookie. No, that's the file for the Dropbox. Stop share. Maybe I won't share it with you guys. Maybe that'll just happen in my dreams. But I know it's gotta be in here somewhere. That's my inbox. Uh-uh. There it is. Oh, I found it. Hot dog. Okay. So this effective communications conversation guide. This is a great way to kind of keep tabs on your leads. I know you have that same recruit interview sheet. You can figure out a way to maybe even combine these into something. But this is great for me so I don't overwhelm them with calls. So if after five times it's not happening, it's time for me to stop bothering that person. Um, because that's probably what they think is that I'm just there to bother them. But um, this is great about leave a voicemail, call again in five business days. Leave a voicemail, call again in five business days. Text, I always text anyway when I leave a voicemail because I have an out-of-state number and people don't recognize who I am. Bum, bum, bum. And again, writing down that personal information. So where are they with work, um, relationship status, kids, all that kind of fun stuff. These are all pretty much those same questions. Um, I love this part where you can write down when you actually get them face to face, when they've scheduled their, uh, when they're gonna come shadow you and when they schedule their launch or their pop the box, yay! So that's another great resource for you as a new consultant to kind of help organize your leads. What was another thing that's on here? Oh, handling objections, that's what's up. You guys definitely wanna see this. Um, I don't know why every time I open it, they're so big. So you can see that's our old logo, but these objections are still relevant. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to let you guys read this when you get a chance to download it, but this tells you everything that you pretty much need to say. 
These three words are solid gold. Commit them to your memory. Use them at all times. Um, Cause that makes it more relatable when you say feel like, I know how you feel. I felt the same way, but I found because that I don't know why, but just on some subliminal, subconscious level, people are like, "Oh, she gets me." It's not trickery. It's nothing crazy. It's just how brains work. I know this is so not like officially official, but. For those of you that will be watching this on the YouTube later, Casey and I have had quite a weekend. So we're perfectly content to just sit here and be like, yeah, I'll read it later. <laughs> um, be aware, oh my gosh, beware of word vomit. When you're talking with new potential team members, this is why we really like, you got to remember that God gave you one mouth and two ears. So you got to shut your trap and just listen because they're going to tell you everything that you need to know about why they want to get started or what's holding them back from getting started, don't just give them so much information because usually that, and I'm so guilty of it, I can't tell you how many recruit leads I've lost. I have my, I think my group for recruit leads on the media center is over a thousand people. And you know, I have not signed a thousand people because I know I've scared a huge chunk of them away because I don't stop talking. Um, so keep that first interview short, do your homework, be prepared when they have those objections to kind of cut those off at the pass and redirect that conversation to something positive. You always want to leave with them believing in themselves and not, you know, if they're like, Oh, I'm just not a salesperson. I don't think I could do this. If you're like, yeah, you're probably not. That's some BS. Don't ever tell someone that they can't do what they can do because they can do everything. Um, when you are explaining the value of the kits, we have three different kit options. Be so careful with the words you use. Um, don't ever use the word cheap for the standard kit. You need to ask more questions and guide your recruit lead to the kit that's best for her. So many people are just looking for a great deal. So they're going to be like, oh, I want the cheapest. Which one's the cheapest? Well, none of our kits are cheap, they just have different values. So you need to talk with her about where she sees her business going. If this is gonna be something like once a week, she wants to do this like a hobby, that'd be great for the standard kit. So if you do it in like time frames, like yeah, if you just wanna do one party week, just like a hobby, just like kickball or a book club, um, then the standard might be great for you. If you wanna do this, at least three parties a week, you want this to eventually replace your full-time income and you're gonna be a career pure romance consultant, you're gonna to wanna to go for the platinum kit. It's a better value, especially for those ladies that are willing to invest in their future. And if they're like, oh no, that scares me, then somewhere in the middle is the deluxe kit and that's designed for our entrepreneurial consultants. So that's about two parties a week, hoping to steadily grow your business. Those consultants that go deluxe, hello, Katie Katie. The consultants that go deluxe usually perform about 57% better than consultants who start with the standard. So don't just be in such a rush to sign people with the standard kit. <laughs> Kitty, are you learning everything about pure romance tonight? Yay! Um, so just be careful about how you explain it because cheap, as a lot of us know, doesn't necessarily mean best, all right? When you buy the cheap toilet paper, sometimes that leaves you with a disaster in your bathroom. So guide them toward the kits that's right for them. And if they really want this to grow, but they don't have the money now, they can wait. They can wait and save the money. If they really want this to be replacing their full-time income, then we have creative ways for them to earn that money or to help start them with a savings plan. Um, don't get them started with something that might not be a good fit for them. Okay, so it's not really important when you actually do sign your recruits to have a follow-up interview with them. So we've gotten to know them a little bit. Um, they're excited, they bought their kit. I would say as soon as they buy their kit, this is again, maybe when you should meet them out for coffee again, you're absolutely fine. I'm going to be yawning here in a second too because I just watched you yawn. <laughs> um, so I try to do a follow-up interview with a lot of my new recruits these days um, to kind of go more in depth and help her set goals and get dates on her calendar for her first couple parties. So I'm gonna share that screen with you. Maybe, there it is, I found it, boom. 
So it's set up kind of the same way with the same information. Um, and again, I keep it in my notebook. So if I'm out and about, I've got all of it. Um, what's your employment history? Like what's your employment background? So if you had a job in sales before, that's gonna be awesome. If you were a bank teller, that's awesome. If you were a um, housekeeper, that's awesome. Just trying to find what kind of experience she's bringing to the table, maybe what some of her potential weaknesses might be so that you can be there to kind of help her with that. Um, or to see what her strengths are that are gonna set her apart from the other women on your team and how she can really kind of help mentor other consultants. Again, maybe what drew her to Pure Romance has changed now that she's actually bought a kit. Maybe before it was quick and easy money and now she's like, Quick and easy money is great, but I have $50,000 worth of debt that I have to pay off, so I'm really motivated now. What do you hope to gain? What do you think this opportunity is gonna provide you? Um, and how much money would you like to earn from your parties to start? So when people are like, I wanna make $1,000 every single party. Well, consultants, we know that that means that you have to have a $2,000 party, and we know that the average party is $500. So just trying to help them be a little bit more realistic in their goals. Um, but that's going to help you narrow down how many parties she's going to actually have to do. So if she needs an extra $1,000 a month, then we know that's going to be anywhere between four and five parties. So helping her kind of look at her calendar to feel that out is going to be great. This is huge. What do you want to do with that money? Um, people have different goals, and that's going to help motivate them. If they have plans for that money, if it is saving for a vacation, if it is paying down debt, um, that puts the power back in their hands of owning this business opportunity. Making sure they're clear on how many nights or days that they're willing to work their business. If they wanna make $1,000 a month and they only wanna do it one day a month, again, helping guide them towards something a little bit more realistic is going to be better for you as their sponsor so you don't get frustrated later on. Um, and it's going to help them as a new consultant so they're not like, why am I not rolling in money? It's been two days. So we got to make sure that we're being open and honest and realistic and helping them understand that, you know, at the beginning, it's a learning process. But as you get further into the business and as you learn more about the products and you build a stronger clientele base, yeah, you're going to make more money. Um, and then plotting out which days and evenings she wants to work. So if she's got Bible study on Wednesday, then we know that she's not gonna work on Wednesday. One of the great things about this job is you are in charge of your own calendar, so plotting those days out now is super awesome. Um, yeah, I'm gonna let you guys read all this stuff. I love this part, because again, it puts it back on them. If I agree to teach you, train you, and give you all the information you need, do you think you can do a good job with this? Do you think you can succeed in this business? I would go ahead with that first recruit or the second interview that you're going to do with her is set these dates. Um, so I know when I onboarded all of you guys with the founder sale, it was a little hard to get all of you guys in one spot. So I just did it on Facebook and I let you know my dates. But it was important for me to let you guys know that this was something I expected of you. This is something new that I'm doing. Um, it's only been about two to three months that I've been implementing this where I'm at your first two parties. Um, but I want you to go ahead and get those three parties set up and get them on your calendar because that gives you a deadline and it gives you responsibility. Like if you know that's coming up, then you know that you've got to learn your stuff. Um, if it's just floating out there and you've just got this kit sitting in the corner of your room, that might not motivate you as much. But if you're like, holy crap, my launch party's on Friday, then you are going to be like, okay, I got to get this on and pop in. Um, so I want these dates scheduled as fast as possible. Make a list of names, that who do you know list, or your top 40 or your top 50 list. And as a consultant, you're going to revisit this, especially when you're brand new, a couple times a year. Start just brainstorming people who don't know about your business or you haven't really invited to participate in your business. Um, and then right in here, we've built out these scripts. So this is exactly how you, as a new consultant, are going to invite people to your lunch party or your pop the box. Um, and that's why I say schedule three. So we'll have our pop the box, which is going to be really casual, but our launch party, we have two because if they can't come to the first one, they can come to the second one. If they can't come to either of them in this script, you're asking them when they want to have their party because they're your friend 
friends want to help friends. So you're going to say, um, I'm so sorry that you can't attend, but one way you could really help me is by helping me get more parties booked so I can get activated in my business. I think you'd be such a fun hostess. I know you'd love the products. Is there any way you can help me out by being one of my first shows? In return, you're going to get a big fat shopping spree and a free gift. Um, can you help me out? If they still say no, you need new friends. I say that lovingly, but it's true. And then I want you to go ahead and book the next six parties. Casey's already done that because she went to wedding festivals like two weeks in the business. And then she went to another one this Saturday. So she's good on getting her next six parties booked. If you remember back from when we talked about five is alive, always having five parties on your calendar means that your business is sustaining. That's exactly what we're talking about. So right now that's nine parties, but you have to remember you will have cancellations. You will have people back out. So we need to overbook just in case we have a couple people who don't live up to their promises. Um, asking her, can you set aside 10 minutes a week to call me? That's going to be whatever your new consultant training program is. If it's just checking in with them, if it's doing webinars like these, if it's um, like a coffee talk once a week, whatever it's going to be for you, but 10 minutes a week to call you and check in uh, and answer any questions. Can you set aside three to four hours a week for your first three to four weeks of training? Um, that's shadowing parties, that's doing party school, just kind of getting them realizing, okay, there is a little bit of work that goes in behind the scenes. It's not just walking into a party with a bag full of awesome. You have to know what you're talking about. And then getting them, getting your new consultants at the beginning of their business, thinking about who they can get to join their business. Um, we found, Sorry, cough drop. We found that consultants um, who book, or I'm sorry, who recruit and start building your team within their first 60 days feel like they're more accountable for their friend's success. And so they stay in the business longer and they end up building a stronger team. So, well, I said 60, this says 90, but you get the idea. Start building your team from the get-go. It's one of the biggest regrets a lot of consultants have is because they're worried that they don't know everything yet, that they don't need to start building their team, and that's a lie. If you have someone who's jacked up and ready, we'll figure it out all together. They can hop on these webinars. We'll get it. Um, and then I just want you to start brainstorming people who might need some extra money. And that's, you know, just a happy little three-page interview. Again, a little bit more in-depth than that first one. Hopefully still not enough to scare them. At this point, they're already committed. They bought their kit. So they knew what they were getting into. Um, <laughs> oh, before we run out of time, something um, that we've really started to push is the whole me plus three. And I don't say push in a pushy way. I'm just saying me plus three gets you to senior consultant level. When you get a promotion and you end up at senior consultant level, you move up to a 50% buying discount. For me, when I started in my business, 50% was my make or break point. Like I had to get to 50% because if I didn't, I didn't think I would succeed in this business. I didn't think I'd be able to earn the income that I needed. So that was just a benchmark for me to hit. Um, five years ago, I only needed one recruit and a certain amount of sales to be able to hit that. But it was the fast track that they offered at that point. But now that the business has grown, it's totally doable because people are signing up left and right. So it's three new consultants to get to that senior consultant level. So that's something I really encourage all of my girls to strongly consider and to make a priority in their business, especially if they want to see more money coming into their wallets. Because not only are you earning a 50% mission on anything that you purchase, but now you're earning an override off of at least three women who are working your business. Um, so when we talked last week about income potential, where I broke it down by um, level, like how what the difference was between what a national director can earn on a monthly basis and what an advanced consultant could earn on a monthly basis, that really kind of helped show how building a team can really help your profit margin increase. Um, so monthly minimums and lifestyle bonuses. I still have so much stuff out in the car. I gotta figure out where, oh, good. It is within arm's reach. Oh my gosh, go Megan. 
So your monthly minimums and lifestyle bonus are all laid out in this amazing booklet that you'll get within your kit. Um, so you do have to meet a monthly income requirement to receive your override check, but it's super doable as long as you're actually working your business and you can find it on page eight and nine. We yay. So as an advanced consultant, which many of my team members are, um, until you have three girls on your team, you're gonna earn 2% off of any girls that are in your downline. So if you have two on your team and maybe like two in your second line, so that's four girls on your team, you're still gonna earn money off of them. And all you have to do is $750 a month. Um, that's one and a half parties, typically retail. Once you hit that senior consultant level, which is what I want you guys to all to focus on, that's gonna be your 50% commission. You're gonna earn 2.5%. Um, you automatically get a lifestyle bonus of $100 because we love you and Pure Romance is just going to be like, here's the money. And you have to do 1500 in sales. So 1,500, that's about three parties. So that's if you're doing this even still at a hobby level at a party a week, you're going to be earning some sweet money. I'm going to not bore you guys because we're already under 10 minutes because you guys all have access to that, so you can read it. Um, and I would just make sure that you are setting your goals for what you wanna do, and you need to offer the opportunity to absolutely everyone you meet. Um, again, I know a lot of people get a little bit nervous because they're like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing yet. I don't wanna bring someone on my team and then like have us flounder. That's why you guys have me. So I've had five years of trying to figure out what the heck this is all about. Um, so we're all gonna do it together. Any of your downlines are welcome to pop in on these webinars. They're, oh my gosh, they're so welcome at team meetings. Anything that we do as a Southern Romantics team, I want your downlines at. So make sure that you're inviting their, them to these opportunities. Real quick before we run out of time, I want to share with you, um, this is something I learned from Crystal Bowles at a training last year. And it's really helped my me kind of keep better track of my recruit leads. So I just bought a little one inch binder. It says potential team members. And inside of it, I have a couple different sections. Um, this first one is my lead list, but I'll show you what the blank one looks like just so you don't see all my sneaky sneak leads. So it's literally just seven people to a page with their name, how I met them, like what the referral was, and then like the data and the section for notes. So again, not the most detailed notes, but this goes with me everywhere. This is in my car, this is in a notebook, it's awesome. I have um, recruit interviews and PRCEFs, because those go with me everywhere too. Um, and then there's a section for people I have in progress. So every single month, I have a sheet with these seven, and it's front and back with these seven lead spots. Um, and I only put my strong leads on there. People who are like, yeah, I'm so jacked up. People I've met at parties that are super excited. People that have actually like met me for coffee or returned my phone calls or corporate leads because corporate leads don't just populate out of nowhere. Like they've reached out to corporate and said, I want to do this. Um, and then I'll take them out of the notebook so you can better see. <laughs> and then I have okay so like this is from October so my goal is to try to recruit two women per month and we know it's a numbers game so it takes seven no's to get a yes so if there's seven sheets or seven spots on this sheet then hopefully one of them should be saying yes so January I haven't had any of my January girls signed yet but look at December I had three, four. That was nuts. In October, I had two. Um, November was one, two, three, four. So this is just a great way for me to be able to touch base with all of the people that say they want to do this and keep that close by so I can quickly flip to them. All right, your homework is to create opportunity packets, share a picture of them on the team Facebook page, and to update your frequently asked questions so it reflects your information and not mine. 
You also want to identify three potential recruits in the next week. So go back to your customer connection cards, Facebook posts, guess at your party and begin reaching out to them with a system like that. Boom. We are about to get cut off, but then we will join back with this link for our Q&A that will not be recorded. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Thanks for being on tonight and I'll see you in a minute. Bye y'all.